In badminton, everyone has to start somewhere. Some will go on to develop a lifelong love of being active. Some will develop from diamonds in the rough into rising stars. Some will have hopes and ambitions about taking on the world. And some, some will make history, winning titles and medals for their country. A bronze medal for the British pair, a first ever in men's doubles. it is always going to be a high participation sport in this country. When there's so many sports activities out there and it is an Olympic sport, we should be doing as much as we can to help kids go and realise their dreams. I started 10 year old at school, having a go in a club and I ended up winning an Olympic medal. So, you know, if me and Marcus can do it, these kids can definitely do it as well. It's been so interesting going from, you know, three, four, five year olds all the way up to the high performance centre. So we feel like we've got the full spectrum and I just hope we've inspired some of them to to go further. I really do think without the UK sport funding, we, it gives the younger generation very little opportunity and chance to really make it to the heights that we have done in the, you know, the last few months, which I, I don't think is fair. I think you know, they, do, they do deserve the opportunity to do that, especially given you know, what we've just achieved. All we want is you know, coaching staff to help us. We want physios to fix us when we're you know, injured. We want to be able to play tournaments around the world, to have a world ranking. You know, to show people that we are top ten in the world, we are number one in the world, whatever we are. So that's what the funding helps us do. It just helps us to try and get closer to achieving our goals. Funding's been um, invaluable to us um, throughout the years. We couldn't have achieved what we have done without it. Our goals haven't changed. We still want Olympic medals, we still want world medals, as many titles as possible. We have so many world-class players. The whole programme is getting better. And in Tokyo, there's no reason why we couldn't get two medals, three medals, you know. Anything's possible if, if we're given that chance. We know that we had 42,000 young people playing in our national schools championships. Two-thirds of secondary schools in this country play badminton. If our sport is to continue to grow, develop and provide that inspiration, funding is fundamental. It's fundamental to the long-term future of our sport, not just about one Olympic Games period. For anyone that's ever played badminton, been involved with badminton, has a family member, involved with badminton. Please, please get involved. We need your help. We need your support.